Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we will see how to make a nav drawer. I've written some code for you. Here we have a grid, which is this, all grid 40, and some background color. And inside this tag panel, I have two buttons one button open and button close. Uh, uh, and this is icon packs, like icon materials. It, it's a uh, map apps, metro packs thing. Button close is set to collapse, which means it is behind the button open. So let's jump into this. We start with some window resources. We have to provide a key here, and the key is to open the menu. The menu open, and here we have double animation using keyframes. Now we have to do storyboard dot target property. Target property is framework element. Let's start with and we have storyboard the target name target name is where we have to provide the grid name this is grid name grid name okay that's the name now we move on to easy double key frames Inside it, we have to type the key time, the time on which this storyboard animation starts. This is when we are opening the menu, it's at zero second, it's actually closed. So at zero, the value is we have a value 40. It's 40. And Yes, it's 40 and then we move on to key time. Let's say it's 0 0.5 seconds and the value now we can use that 750. Okay. And the same goes for here. Let's copy it and paste and change it to many close. And Many close and this is the same. We have to change it here to 150 because when we are closing, means it's actually open. And for opening, we have 150, and when we close, it should become 40. We are done with this. Now we move on to window dot triggers and even triggers. We have a routed event which is button base dot click and the source name is the button name which is for button open it's button open. Okay and inside it we see the storyboard and storyboard static. Static resource. Now we have to apply the storyboard, which is menu open. So this one and the same here. And the same for button close. This is button click, button close. Watch and close and change list. New, new close. So let's run this and
Yeah, it's fucking. Oh, we gotta have a B check. Sorry, I forget to write the name code logic for button open. Okay, let's move on this. So when we open the button, then button open visibility is equal to visibility dot collapsed and button close dot visibility is equal to visibility visible and it's Yeah, it's working, it's working fine. So thank you guys. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel and 